DeepMind's Gato Artificial Intelligence is a scalable generalist agent that uses a single transformer with exactly the same weights to play Atari, follow text instructions, caption images, chat with people, control a robot arm, as well as 600 other tasks. The ultimate achievement to summon the AI industry is creating a system with artificial general intelligence, or the ability to understand and learn any task that a human can. Long relegated to the domain of science fiction, it's been suggested that AGI would bring about systems with the ability to reason, plan, learn, represent knowledge, and communicate in natural language. Not every expert is convinced of AGI and its realistic goals. But it could be argued that DeepMind, the alphabet-backed research lab, took a step towards AGI this week with the release of its AI system called Gato. Gato is what DeepMind describes as a general-purpose system, a system that can be taught to perform many different types of tasks. Researchers at DeepMind have trained Gato to complete 604 different tasks. What's new here is the diversity of the tasks that are tackled in the training method. There's been evidence previously that single models can handle surprisingly diverse sets of inputs. The core question when it comes to multitask learning is whether the tasks complement each other or not. You could envision a more boring case if the model implicitly separates the task before solving them. For instance, if it detects task A as input, it will use subnetwork A. If instead it detects task B, it will use a different subnetwork B. For that null hypothesis, similar performance could be attained by training A and B separately, which is underwhelming. In contrast, if training A and B subnetworks jointly leads to improvements to either or both, then things are more exciting. Like all AI systems, Gato learned by example by ingesting billions of words, images, button presses, joint torques, and more in the form of tokens, both in the real world and in simulated environments. These tokens were served to represent data in a way that Gato could understand. Gato doesn't necessarily perform every task very well, though. For example, when chatting with a person, the system often responds with a superficial or factually incorrect reply, and the system correctly stacks blocks using a real-world robot only 60% of the time. But on 450 of the 604 aforementioned tasks, DeepMind claims that Gato performs better than an expert more than half of the time. If you're of the mind that a general system is needed, which is a lot of folks in the AI and machine learning area, then Gato is a big deal. Curiously, from an architectural standpoint, Gato isn't dramatically different from many other AI systems in production today. It shares characteristics in common with OpenAI's GPT-3 in the sense that it's a transformer. Dating back to 2017, the transformer has become the architecture of choice for complex reasoning tasks, demonstrating an aptitude for summarizing documents, generating music, classifying objects and images, and analyzing protein sequences. Perhaps even more remarkably, Gato is order of magnitude smaller than any single task system, including GPT-3, in terms of its parameter count. Parameters are the parts of the system learned from training data and essentially define the skill of the system on a problem. Gato has just 1.2 billion parameters, while GPT-3 has more than 170 billion. DeepMind researchers kept Gato purposefully small so that the system could control a robot arm in real time, but they hypothesized that, if scaled up, Gato could tackle any task, behavior, and embodiment of interest. Assuming this turns out to be the case, several other hurdles would have to be overcome to make Gato superior in specific tasks to cutting-edge single-task systems, like Gato's inability to learn continuously. Like most transformer-based systems, Gato's knowledge of the world is grounded in the training data and remains static. If you ask Gato a date-sensitive question, like the current President of the United States, chances are that it won't respond correctly. The Transformer, and Gato by extension, has another limitation in its context window, or the amount of information the system can remember in the context of a given task. Even the best Transformer-based language models can't write a lengthy essay, much less a book, without failing to remember key details. The forgetting happens in any task, whether writing or controlling a robot, which is why some experts have called it the Achilles heel of machine learning. For these reasons and others, Gato isn't actually a truly general purpose artificial intelligence. Gato receives specific training data about different tasks, just like any other AI of its type, and it learns how the patterns in the data relate to one another, including learning to associate certain kinds of inputs with certain kinds of outputs. This isn't to say that it's easy, but to the outside observer this might sound like the AI can also make a cup of tea or easily learn another 10 or 50 other tasks. Inspired by the progress in large-scale language modeling, they applied a similar approach to building a single generalist agent beyond the realm of text outputs. The agent, which they referred to as Gato, works as a multimodal, multitask, multi-embodiment generalist policy. During the training phase of Gato, data from different tasks and modalities are serialized into a flat sequence of tokens, bashed, and then processed by a transformer neural network similar to a large language model. Gato only predicts actions and text targets because the loss is masked. 
When deploying Gato, a prompt such as a demonstration is tokenized, forming the initial sequence. Next, the environment yields the first observation, which is also tokenized and appended to the sequence. Gato samples the action vector auto-aggressively, one token at a time. Once all tokens comprising the action vector have been sampled, the action is decoded and sent to the environment which steps and yields a new observation. Then the procedure repeats. Gato is trained on a large number of datasets comprising agent experience in both simulated and real-world environments, in addition to a variety of natural language and image datasets. The number of tasks, where the performance of the pre-trained Gato model has above average percentage of the expert score, are grouped by domain, as shown below. The following images also show how a pre-trained Gato model with the same weights can do image captioning, engaging in an interactive dialogue, and control a robot arm, among many other tasks. Dubai students invent robot that can disarm explosives in war zones. A group of university students in the United Arab Emirates have developed an autonomous robotic device that can disarm explosives. Students from Canadian University Dubai have developed a high-tech, safe, and cost-effective solution to neutralize hazardous environments. RoboSafe uses artificial intelligence to mimic the natural movements of a four-legged animal and can deactivate bombs and mines in war zones, carry objects around unsafe sites, and recognize faces to monitor suspicious activity. Accessing dangerous areas such as mines, collision sites, explosive sites, and areas affected by radioactivity is a major challenge. Companies and employees working in these hazardous environments are putting their health at risk, which could ultimately lead to major legal cases. While employers may consider the use of robots to replace their employees, problems arise when they develop devices that lack the modifications required to fit their needs and costs that can escalate quickly. The team of students bagged their first place in the Ustart Enterprise competition. The aim was to provide a cost-effective industrial robot to help companies cut expenditures and increase productivity. RoboSafe is a low-cost product with a futuristic and innovative design based on an open-source platform. It's made using modular technology that will allow it to be fully customized to meet different clients' needs. The invention also aimed to provide support to bomb technicians and create a cost-effective commercial plan while ensuring that they use revolutionary technology in solving emerging threats.